Hey everybody. I wanted to show you uh, another design of this hydro uh, lifter and a method that uh, can be used to extract the energy that's being stored in the containers at the top of the uh, lifter. Those containers at the top of the lifter have water inside of it and that water is being used to drive the uh, bucket water wheel that I have that you see behind me. Um, and the newest addition I have to that is that I finally have acquired my own gravity light, uh, which I've been waiting for for about four years now. Uh, it was the gravity light that originally got me started on this whole lifter concept, and that is that uh, the gravity light uses about 20 to 25 pounds for about 20 minutes worth of light. And of course, uh, that didn't seem like enough, so why not put more weight and uh, give people a way to uh, lift that weight up to a usable height. Let me show you. These are, uh, these are two and a half pound weights, and I've got about a five a five or a six to one ratio. So if I put these in, it's not going to turn, but with five pounds in, that's enough to get it started. And you can see the light here is working. So it takes about five pounds of torque to get this going. Because of the ratio of the wheels that I have here uh, driving the, uh, the water wheel. So I've, I've already filled the water up in, uh, in these containers and so it's ready to go. Uh, let me give you a demonstration of what this looks like and I'll show you some of the aspects of the uh, hydro lifter that I had to change from the previous version which was with uh, a water turbine. Not much difference, just uh, uh, extraction point difference. Like I said, I am so happy to finally have myself a gravity light. It is a fine, fine little machine. The gear system in it is excellent. It is, it far exceeds anything that I've come up with. And of course, I didn't intend to re redesign the wheel, so I waited till somebody else did it, and I've taken it, and it does exactly what I had hoped it would. It provides plenty of light for a small room. Uh, this particular uh, head of the gravity light has one light in it. It has two satellite uh, lights that plugs in there and goes. Um, is hooked up serially so they uh, currently I have a cable over there going through my wall into my garage where those two satellite lights are are hung and we'll take a look at that in a minute also you can see that uh, the water is dumped here into my container and once it's filled up uh, you have to of course lower lower your uh, carriage and transfer this water back into the carriage containers and you can do that as I've described on my uh, website by making this particular collection point higher than uh, the point where the carriage rests and let it flow back into the carriage of course you lose a certain portion of your drop time it'll be ready to use again more quickly or if you have a solar panel and a pump you can lower your carriage and drop your uh, pump into this container and pump it back you can see it doesn't take it doesn't take much to uh, get this going it's really bright whenever it's just one light whenever the other two lights are turned on the 
output is distributed to all three lights or you can turn the other two lights on bright and this will go off and that's the way we'll be using it inside the garage and you can see up here I have a collection bucket that collection bucket up there is moved in and out of place by uh, just pulling it out of place and then you can tilt the carriage back and forth it comes out over here and feeds the water into the buckets on the uh, water wheel and here I have uh, a way of controlling the water so that turns it on and let's see the other one turns it off you can control the uh, speed of these buckets in the water wheel fairly easy by controlling the flow rate of the water there the flow rate uh, of course determines a lot as to how much time you're going to get out of uh, the uh, capacity of the, of the hydro lifter but with the diameter of pipes that I have there and the uh, that pretty much that pretty much uh, keeps you from overflowing any of these buckets uh, it's going to start turning at its own rate uh, depending on how quickly or how much water you put into the buckets so I'll put this in place here and we'll watch it uh, watch it operate and then okay well there we go I think I finally got it adjusted the way I intended for it to be not bad you can see it's uh, turning at a pretty good rate the little lights lit up Water's flowing in at a good rate. You can see I'm not putting not putting much water into each bucket, but each one's pretty well consistent as to how fast, uh, how much, how much water is actually being put into it, simply by the uh, torque that's required to turn the the uh, gear mechanism and the gravity light keeps it this way. So with this particular setup, we have about 60 or 70 gallons of water up there, so ought to be able to get uh, 300, 300 minutes or about five hours uh, if you have it adjusted properly and uh, the water and the flow rate is set proper. That's plenty of time. That's almost probably two nights worth of, of light depending on your sleeping habits and what you might be doing during the day or I mean during the night um, So let me plug in the uh, satellite lights. I'm 
There we go. Okay, well here we are inside my garage. It's not uh, not completely dark outside. You can see around the garage door that it's lit up some, but it's pretty dark in here. Uh, I have these lights. And they're, uh, these are the satellite lights. There's two of them. They're turned on. They're turned on bright right now. If I was to turn them down to the uh, uh, level directly below this, it's got two settings or three settings: off and uh, then bright and then brighter. Uh, and so right now they're set at max. If I turn them turn them down halfway, then the light outside on the uh, head of the gravity light will come on and then you'll have all three lights on or you can turn one of these off and uh, keep this one on bright and the gravity light head, the light on it will also come on. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, I'm not sure how long the cords are. The cords that come with the gravity lights are like 10 feet each so you can spread it out across the room from one side to the other. Uh, there's certainly certainly enough light here to read by. Uh, and once your eyes adjust um, to the light, it's, it's very easy to see in, in this area. If you have both lights, um, you know, light up a larger area, each one's going to be at a certain percentage, though, of the total amount of power just being put out by the gravity light itself. But uh, if this was your cabin or your bug out place or your uh, small village home or cabin, then you'd be able to have some light at night to read by and uh, basically enjoy uh, the comforts of, uh, of night without having to have an oil lamp or a, uh, a candle. So I really, I really am pleased. Gravity light is, is certainly a step in the right direction for uh, uh, this type of activity where you don't want to have to have constant uh, making of candles or collecting uh, uh, oil for your lamps. Um, and if you don't have a battery backup for, say, your solar panels, then of course uh, you can use your solar panels during the day and then you can use your solar panels maybe for a pump to pump your water back into your carriage uh, containers and tilt it back up for your nightly activities. You can see on the back side over here towards the garage how much how much light is actually being put out. That's that's quite a bit of light shines all the way across the garage. And so for about, what, 10 minutes to fill the containers back up, another 8 to 10 minutes for two people to uh, tilt, tilt the carriage up to about 8 to 10 feet and you've got 150 minutes worth uh, of light just from 30 gallons. Anyway, this is what it looks like in my garage using the gravity light. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing the results and another example of how you can use a hydro lifter or a lifter to extract energy and for your purposes whenever uh, you need it charging devices, lighting up the night, all of those. Thanks a lot. Build more lifters. I just got my water wheel working with uh, gravity light.
And as you can see, I've got my lifter tilted up there, and uh, I've got maybe 30 gallons of water between both of those containers. Just just enough to see how long this will work. And I have to extract the energy a little bit at a time. And you can see up there at the top, um, I have the water just barely going into those buckets, barely turned on. So it's a filling these buckets up ever so slowly. 20 pounds for 20 minutes is what uh, it's advertised at. So if I had 400 pounds, I'd have 400 minutes. Um, that's, that's a little over six hours. It certainly seems to uh, compete very well with the, with the Pelton wheel that I was working with and the magnet light. Come look at it. That was 30 gallons, maybe 240 pounds. 